Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you're all doing well and you're doing great. So, <laughs> I don't know if you guys have been following me. I don't know if you guys have been aware, but I did mention quite a few times that I'm going to be going for a Casey, which by the way, I've been pronouncing wrong all this time. But a Casey Eye Revive treatment, which I will literally insert an image here. I went to the spa, beauty and laser. Oh my God. First, let me just tell you now, that place is absolutely amazing. It's the first time I actually went there. Customer service, brilliant. Friendly staff, really helpful, non-judgmental. Um, the person who was doing the treatment on me, very explanatory, like she explained me everything. And she was so friendly, like you could talk to her and just be yourself. And there was no judgment from her. That was like crazy. Okay, so it's really cold here in the UK and I caught a burst around about 11 because my appointment was at 12 p.m. And <laughs> so I was catching the burst and I got onto the burst like maybe just after 11, not exactly sure what time. And I went on the burst and we got I got there pretty much around about 11, 11.25, something around there. And so I just ended up calling my mom and was like, I'm here way too early and you're not supposed to be in that clinic like five minutes before it's time. And I was like, damn, what do I do now? <laughs> I didn't even eat my breakfast, right? Because I'm a late breakfast eater. Um, I went around, went into West Orchards, which is like a shopping mall-ish kind of thing. And I went into a few shops and then by then it was like... I think 11.40, came out, went back out, walked down, tried to wait some time, went in at 11.50. Oh God, my hands were like freezing, honestly. So I obviously told her like, you know, my name, all the formalities, um, and then she basically gave me a form to fill out. And on that form, they ask you X, Y, and Z of your skin conditions, any like health issues that you may have, or anything as such and I was like okay so obviously we all know I suffer with eczema so she put it on there because I didn't know whereabouts to put it because there was no actual box to put eczema they ask you what is the, that your main concern is and then they also ask you uh, what you hope to achieve out of this and obviously my main concern was my eyes the hooded eyes and to achieve less hooded eyes <laughs> if that makes sense so I didn't actually have to wait that long but when I handed the form obviously the lady who was going to do my um should I call it a procedure I don't know I guess the the Casey okay the Casey um she was there she goes I will see you in a few minutes and I was like okay brilliant so she went up she sorted everything out comes back down calls me between that time, I obviously asked them if I could do some recording for my channel. They said they don't allow recording, but I said, could I take photos? They said, you are allowed to take photos. I said, okay, that's fine. Um, so she took me upstairs and I followed. Room was really nice and warm, perfect temperature. Oh, it felt so good. The room was really nice, like dimly lit, not too bright, not too, you know, like dim as well where it becomes very really, like sleepy and lethargic and you know how you know what I mean right so I thought yeah the consultation would be like explain the procedure and everything but we just started kicking like we just chatted and she's so good I wish she does I'm telling you like she is so friendly so sociable I just I love it she has such a polite polite attitude towards her it was crazy so I took my jacket off, I put it there, and then she acknowledged the fact that I wanted to take some photos. So she goes, I do recommend that you take a before and after, and then in between. So I did do that. I took a photo of before. So I asked her, should I just lie down? She was like, yeah, she put a towel on me, and then she obviously wrapped like, you know, um, like a tissue or towel, whatever you call that. Um, she then started to exfoliate my face and everything and you know just exfoliate to cleanse the face that was like a really good massage i kid you not like who doesn't love a good facial when it's done right like she was just like all in there and just oh it was nice and it's probably been like a very long time okay so if i over because i'm trying a little bit with the whole i got a face massage 
it's probably because it's been a very long time. So yeah, she basically lathered the cleanser all over my face, whatever that was. And the machine was right, right next to me, like on this side. So I was kind of like lying down in the middle center. And we were so busy chatting that I kind of forgot to ask her the procedure. And then I went on to asking her sort of in between when she got started. And then she said, okay, so this is where I'm going to explain it to you. So I said, okay, fine. Let's, let's now, do it. Now, she basically explained to me that every body is different and every result is going to vary. She said that my eyes and my skin is quite tight and I don't really have a lot of fine lines. I don't really have a lot of skin conditions. I'm quite young, so you know, <laughs> she wasn't overly concerned. I asked her, like, this eye obviously is the most problematic eye. And she said, do you sleep on that side? And I was like, yeah, I do. And she was like, there it is. That's the reason why that happens, but it's not a very big deal. Because you sleep on that side a lot. That ding ding was like something new to me. <laughs> that was like very interesting so remember that guys if one eye is sagging more than the other it's probably the position you're sleeping in i always sleep on my left <laughs> so that explains everything but yeah now she going back a little bit to what she was saying like everybody reacts different to the casey um she said it's almost like going to the gym when you first start you're not going to see instant results but you are going to feel a lot better you're going to see something change and as you continuously go you're going to start to see that you're actually starting to burn fat or lose weight whatever your goals are i was like fair enough now you got to bear in mind that this is not surgery okay this is not like the blasting thing that they blast into your eyes or whatever you call that thing this is like casey they're working with your natural body so that your body starts to respond to the way it should be, right? So if that makes sense, let me try explaining that a little bit better. So you're naturally, your muscles in your face when you're young and you're healthy and you look after your skin, your muscles are already going to have this thing, you know, where it's going to have the elasticity, it's going to have toned muscles, you're not going to have this sagginess going on and stuff like this, right? So it's basically just training your muscles to remember to do that. But at the same time, you're kind of manipulating it a little bit to do it. So she said to me that obviously she always starts with the light or the mild currents, I guess is what it is. Don't be alarmed when I say currents because believe me, you're not going to feel a lot. Trust me. So after she explained it to me, they went on with like a gel and she started using these like, okay, let's just take this for example. Could do really but it was like a long stick thing i will insert a picture here but you'll you'll get the idea and then it was kind of like a pulsating kind of like sensation but it was so honestly it was so mild you probably wouldn't even notice it was it was kind of like happening she was talking throughout the whole thing like i didn't realize when it was over like it was for a 45 minute and i was sitting there like is this over but no, honestly, so there was like two of these things and she would literally like push the skin. The only part I would say was uncomfortable is when she pushes, like forces the skin like that. And that was the only part that was honestly uncomfortable, but you can live with it. It's not the end of the world, honestly. Like, I mean, I have issues with certain pain tolerances and feelings and sensations. This wasn't really unbearable. So she kind of went to the inner corner, she pulled it to the side here, she went up here, she did the contours, all those areas. Then after that, she cleansed or put some kind of serum on, I think. I can't remember, honestly, I was so busy talking. And I just had my eyes closed. I was just trying to enjoy the moment while I was chatting away. It was completely like slipping out of my mind. <laughs> what was going on, which was so bad of me because I should have remembered. But yeah, so from what I remember, she then put a mask that covered my eyes. And then she, or it probably wasn't even a mask, it was like a sheet of some sort, you know. And then she changed the actual um, applicator tips to like a dome ball. And then started massaging that quite a bit. Now, <laughs> now when she did that, that was probably the best part because it felt like a massage after all of that tugging. 
and then she put on a mask around my eyes which I would definitely call an eye mask at this point and mind you guys I kind of thought that they were for sale after you know but they weren't really so um but yeah and thereafter she then like exfoliated my face she even took a look at my skin on my face to see if I had any issues on my face and I kind of felt like maybe she was just giving me that little extra I'm not sure if that's allowed I don't know <laughs> that's just like I got lucky I don't know no I'm just kidding maybe that's just what they do I don't know it was my first time so if I go again maybe I will be like yeah that's that's normal so she started exfoliating my face and doing all sorts with my face and I was like yes this is luxury I'm telling you she's good at what she does I'm telling you and she basically just kind of like cleansed put some lotion on massaged it all in and thereafter boom done right so we'd have a before and after shot so the after shot I'm gonna put somewhere around here for you guys to see but yeah um I do see a slight result so obviously when I got up I did tell her that this eye is probably the most problematic so she said ideally it runs as a course of 10 they don't really call it a treatment they call it a course of 10 so it's course of 10 she's saying and we usually do recommend once a week she said obviously I can't do this every week I've got commitments but I will be doing it as regular as I can and um to see like obviously visible results so i will be doing that again but she said next time she comes in i need to remind her to focus on this eye more than this one because this one definitely lifted more and this one as you can see like if i look straight at you this is not as hooded as it was before it has had a slight lift so before it was kind of like i don't want to pull it down but yeah it was a lot more like i don't even know how to explain it like that right so now when I look forward it's a little bit lifted right so she's gonna work on this one a lot more and you can still tell the difference because this eyebrow is a lot higher and this one's like a lot lower once she's lifted it it should look like this <laughs> so fingers crossed on the next one I will start to see results I won't stop going obviously I'll complete my 10 I love it you know it's just it was a fantastic experience you know and when you have such friendly stuff you definitely want to keep going back the good thing about this place is that they do a lot of things they don't just do you know um casey they do um lipo 3d fat burning i guess or something like that they even do satellite reduction they do so many things it's like crazy i will insert obviously their website here somewhere for you guys to check out but i mean if you live in the west midlands coventry that's where it's going to be i get it is not for everyone to travel all the way down i get that but i just had to put my review out there because there's a lot of clinics who do casey and i would definitely highly recommend it i would highly recommend it it was definitely like it was good it was definitely good i mean a cheap cost efficient way without actually getting your skin going under surgery knives and without the needling and stuff yeah it was really good they did say though that don't recommend doing it when you've had botox it just doesn't work because it messes up your botox um so if you've had botox or any kind you just don't do it so after i came back down i was like really happy with the service it was quite busy there honestly but they were bringing people in like one by one so it was kind of like spaced out as every 45 minutes i guess just so the COVID restrictions and stuff but yeah yeah so when I came back down I did ask her obviously if there's any creams because they did have some at the back that they could recommend or anything like that they obviously had to ask the lady who was um who was doing my my face my Casey eyes oh my god Casey eyes and um when she did come down she said honestly she does not recommend anything special because my eyes are absolutely fine you know it's just a little thing because i sleep on my left no big deal my collagen is still good you know all good stuff yeah but no honestly so she did not recommend it she goes just an eye serum if you have one she goes just use that there's nothing else to it but when i do use the eye serum she did recommend to do this she goes it's just like using the um the casey 
but except obviously it's just kind of massaging the contour to go in the right place and that's all it is to it so if anybody else has saggy eye issues all you got to do is just massage upwards that's it now obviously she said it's not as strong as you know a casing machine would do it but in between at the intervals it's just basically eye care you need to just use eye care general eye care like we do for your face care right your skin care like the body care even so yeah it was it was great if it wasn't for the cold honestly me getting there early but now i know so maybe i'll catch the bus a bit later next time but yeah overall it was a great experience i don't know if she'll allow me to mention her name but i will insert it here somewhere at the bottom for you guys but she was like she was great she was great and the staff at the office the reception all good stuff so would i highly recommend casey obviously yes i would it's the most safest treatment ever i would highly recommend it two thumbs up for me i've already given one five stars so i guess that says it all go and check it out and until the next time i will see you guys real soon love a light enjoy your 2022 i guess